welcome back to my channel so a little bit of a long time no see i feel like i've said that the last three videos i know things have been really crazy so i'm not really making videos as consistently as you guys are used to and i really apologize for that but i am excited for today's video so for today's video i am doing a 100 percent tank clean on koa's enclosure i finally found some large bags of substrate so we are going to be doing a full tank clean i've been wanting to film this video for quite a while now but i was having a really hard time finding the big bags of substrate because his tank is so big it does require the 24 quart bags and i didn't want to buy the tiny bags because they're a lot more expensive and it's a lot more affordable to just get the really big bags. So I finally found some. I have three bags of substrate today. So that's what we're going to be using on his tank. It is also feeding time today for Koa. So we're going to be feeding him as well. So we will do that after his tank is completely cleaned and everything. So yeah, let's get started. We're just going to do a full substrate clean and then we're going to put his decor back in there. I do want to say one thing before we go through this video. I do want to say before we get into the video, a reminder that Koa is a deformed turtle. For those of you who may be new here, maybe you're a new subscriber and you're not familiar with Koa my fox turtle he is a rescue he is over 40 years old i'm losing track of how old he is exactly but he was taken from the wild in 1985 after 30 years of a lady keeping him in really terrible conditions in our home she surrendered him to a reptile store in my town and while i was there visiting i'm really friendly with the workers who work at the reptile store and i saw him there they told me his history and they were kind enough to surrender him to me so he is a rescue and that is how i got koa just like a really quick backstory so for anyone who is not familiar that's why he's deformed um and yeah so because koa is deformed he is really clumsy um i don't keep a lot of stuff in in his tank I do that for two reasons number one he is really clumsy whenever he flips over on his back he has a really hard time correcting himself and obviously if you're familiar with turtles and tortoises it's a really bad thing if they flip over on their back and they can't right themselves they can actually die from that so I am really cautious with how much clutter and things that I put in his tank so I do keep it pretty minimal honestly just for his safety for my mind of worrying about him and then also I do want him to have the max amount of room because he does walk around and you know climb around. He does have his log hide he climbs on. He loves to drag around the leaves that are in there. They never stay on top of the log, which is like I stuff them behind it. They never stay there. He always drags them around. I'll find it in his water dish. So I do try to keep his tank pretty safe and minimal because he is so clumsy and he has a hard time if he does flip over and I really worry about that. Um, and then also he can just have the max amount of room to walk around and so far over the years I've had him he's done really well with it So we are gonna do a deep clean and then we are gonna reset this tank back up and There's kitty cat right on schedule. She is always on top of this tank. I what is she doing? Are you clawing? Are you calling the wallpaper? Or are you getting excited? All right, so let me get Koa out. I'm gonna put him in his little carrier and then we will get started. Here is little Koa. He's grumpy today. He's like put me down. I don't want to be held. There he is. He's been doing really, really well. So yeah, you guys can see he's deformed. For anyone who's new here, this is what he looks like. Um, he's about 40 something years old, at least 40. Um, he was taken from the wild when he was um, a baby in 1985. That's all I know. Um, which is why you should never take turtles from the wild because if you don't take proper care of them for over 30, 40, 50 years, then they can get very deformed and it's really sad. So don't be doing that. But there is little Koa. We're gonna go on and put him in his little carrier and then we are gonna get to cleaning. What are you doing up there? Big Kitty, are you gonna stay up there the whole time? Are you gonna stay up there for the whole video? All right. All right, now for the long process of scooping out all of his substrate. I always just use a little broom and dustpan scooper. It does the job, so that's what we're gonna be using. I'm gonna get that in the best that I possibly can but if you notice this side glass the back glass over here on the side um, doesn't have a handle to where it can open this glass actually was accidentally broken it doesn't move and we can't budge it um, we actually don't have a way to open this so I'm gonna get that side clean as best as we can unfortunately the last time that we took this outside and did a 100% clean we took the hose pipe to it you know just to like give it a really really good uh, overall clean and Patrick accidentally 
accidentally cracked the door on the other side and it was like a huge mess and I was so upset because I was like oh my gosh how am I going to get another door for this enclosure um but a friend that I grew up with a neighbor that lives near my mom he's like the sweetest person ever and he works in glass cutting and so he actually cut me this custom door or piece to go in here um and it was super nice of him so we're going to clean over here as best we can but it's a bit hard to reach all right, now we're just gonna clean all the glass in here really well. It's really hard to clean that other one because it's like, it can't get behind it, which really sucks, but we're gonna clean this the best that we can. You help in? No? You attacking? that's pretty good all right here is the substrate that I use for Koa the box turtle it is the 24 quart bag I think it's the biggest bag they make of eco worth and then once we put the three bags of eco worth in there that should be deep enough to like give him some good substrate to like crawl and bury in and stuff and then we'll make it moist and that will be good for him um, obviously if you have a box turtle it would be amazing if you could do an outdoor enclosure but with Koa's situation, um, I'm just too scared to because, well, number one, our weather's unpredictable here. And number two, if he ever escaped, well, I would just be so upset. I don't even know what I would do. But he would not survive, like, a thousand percent because he's deformed. He has not been in the wild in over 30 years. I don't even know if he knows how to, like, haunt worms and bugs and stuff on his own. So, yeah, I just, I'm not risking it. So we keep him inside. But this is a really good substrate if you have a box turtle. We may not need three bags here. Yeah, I think this is good. That's like a lot of substrate. I typically keep a bag on hand extra normally so that when I do spot cleans over time, it does make the substrate go down because I'm constantly pulling out leftover food and poopies and things like that. So. I may just keep that third bag on hand for spot cleaning because he does have a lot of substrate in here. So I think this is gonna be good. All right, I hope you guys can see this okay. I'm sorry if you can't. Um, I'm like an amateur filmer now. Took two weeks off and what do you know? Okay, so we're just gonna dump this huge thing of water in here. More water. Hopefully that's enough. Oh yeah, it's a lot. Can you guys see? Bikini, what are you doing? Leave him alone. You're not being helpful today. You're not being helpful today. Okay. All right, I think that's really good. Now we're gonna go on and add in his hide and his foliage and his water dish. Give him some clean water. Sorry about the glare on my glasses, but here is Koa's food. This is what I feed him every other feed. The only thing that changes here is the fruit and the veggies. I do trade them out. Sometimes I may give him a little piece of zucchini or something, some cucumber, but he is very, very picky. He's been like that since I got him. It took forever for me to even get him to eat the strawberries and the bell pepper. And sometimes he'll eat the grapes for me. Sometimes he'll nibble at the cucumber, but He's really picky, but that's okay. He does love his worms, but obviously I want him to have some fruits and veggies as well so that he poops good. Um, so this is what his food looks like. 
yeah, this is what he eats. We're gonna go on and put this in there. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of calcium powder and then we're gonna feed him. And of course, whenever I feed Koa, I usually bring in an extra worm for lemon. So we are gonna go on and feed little lemon while we're in here. Here you go. Good girl. Got it. That was a big leap. That was a really big bite. You guys are always wondering how Lemon is doing. She is doing so good. She ate the whole thing. She's just doing so good, fat as ever. Being a good girl. All right, Toe, your house is clean. You hungry? There you go. Look. Got it. Get it, Frick gets away. All right guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me clean my box turtle Koa's enclosure. I hope you guys found something helpful in this video or just enjoyed it. I am also gonna be cleaning Blue's enclosure very soon. I did get a bunch of bags of substrate for him as well and his enclosure is like five feet long so it's gonna be probably a long clean but we are gonna be doing that very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already, subscribe down below for more videos. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind, bye. Just wanted to show you guys how pretty his tank is when I turn the light out in here. Obviously he still has his basking light, but look how pretty the purple is. And then there's Kitty. And then there's Blue eating some romaine, but I think it's really pretty. I love it.